In this episode, we are going to explore the great state of Missouri. We're gonna stay at a casino right on the Mississippi River. We'll also visit its confluence with the Ohio in Cairo, Illinois. Then back to Missouri, where we'll explore the Ozark Scenic Riverways. We'll see incredible springs. We'll visit an elk conservation area, more beautiful waterfalls, more beautiful springs. Then Branson, Missouri. Table Rock Lake. We'll do a section of historic Route 66. And finally, beautiful Wakanda State Park. In another action packed episode of the Summer 2020 Road Trip. I'm riding, 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 riding in my RV. My RV. Wherever I want to be. Because I'm free in my RV. Greetings from Carothersville, Missouri. We were here once before during the great solar eclipse of 2017 trip, in which we actually made a navigational error and ended up here. Not a bad place to end up. They have a casino with an RV park. Century Casino. Lady Luck, I believe it used to be called. Let's see our surroundings from 400 feet above ground. Today, in a sense, marks the beginning of a new chapter in this trip. Shall we call it the Midwest? Even though parts of Missouri are also considered part of the South, we're gonna go with Midwest because we're going to set foot in Illinois and from here we're going to Iowa, Minnesota, North Dakota and beyond. Well, this is my site. I'm not even gonna unhitch or connect the water or the sewer. Let's just get a good night's sleep here on the west bank of the Mississippi. The casino looks like an old riverboat that hasn't sailed for years, but we're not going in. I wonder where this goes. It's a dead end. It goes nowhere. Beautiful trees, though. Mm, I thought that trail would go to the river, but it doesn't. Well, good night. Before we continue, I'd like to tell you about today's sponsor, Skillshare. And Skillshare, what it is, is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people like us. So you can explore new skills, develop existing interests, and get lost in creativity. And you know, I'm always trying to learn new things. And even though my main focus, as you know, is on video and audio, I'm also into still photography. So I've been looking at this class by um, Amelie Stasga, uh, iPhone photography, how to shoot and edit conceptual photos on your phone. Because as you know, the best camera is the one that you always have with you. So I want to take full advantage of that. So Skillshare, really useful resource. They have all kinds of courses in writing, music, photography, and not only that, you know, also business courses and productivity, all kinds of stuff. The first 1,000 people to use the link in my description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. And after that, it's only around $10 a month. So I want to thank them for sponsoring this episode. Good morning. We're slowly waking up, making some coffee. Check it out. Check out the moon. Here, making some coffee. On the road again. The plan today is to visit the Ozark Scenic Riverways, just west of here. It comes highly recommended, but I don't really have any plans, setting stone or reservations or anything like that. Ooh, a Geo dealership. Remember Geo? 
I haven't seen one of those in a while. So yeah, as I was saying, all I have is just some recommendations from viewers, and that's all. We're gonna play it by ear. All right, a, a lot of businesses in this uh, part of Caruthersville here are kind of like, like there's a supermarket here across the across from us that seems to be well, may have been a Walmart at some point. Uh, which reminded me of another place that I wanted to visit in the vicinity here. Uh, let me see how far it is because uh, Cairo, Illinois. I mean, it's an extra hour. I wanted to see because that's the confluence of the Missouri and the Mississippi. And it's supposed to be kind of like a ghost uh, town. Yeah, might as well. I mean, we're not gonna come around uh, this area for a while. Yeah, it's an interstate. Let's do it. And just like that, I decided to make a detour, which will take us into the land of Lincoln, actually. Once again, crossing the mighty Mississippi. Check it out, it's the Great River Road. We're going into Fort Defiance Park here. It's a nice park. the bridge to Kentucky, which uh, ironically is closed. I say ironically because as of this filming in early August 2020, Kentucky is one of the few states that has issued a 14-day quarantine for visitors from other states. And even though I hear it's not really enforced, I'm gonna stay away from Kentucky this time around. Sorry cousin Juan in Louisville, I'll visit next year. By the way, very cool to see how they move all these huge barges here on the river. This is it. The Mississippi, the Ohio. Okay, so I couldn't resist. I had to try that dolly zoom effect with the new Mavic 2 zoom. And now, let me show you where we really are. Right here, at the very southern tip of Illinois. The confluence of the muddy Mississippi to the left. Yeah, lots of sediment. And the relatively cleaner Ohio to the right. And you can definitely see it in the water. There's a barge coming, and that's, of course, beautiful Kentucky, on this absolutely beautiful day. The only time we're gonna see Kentucky on this whole trip, actually. Look at that pusher boat moving the barge upstream. And the beautiful, I mean, beautiful Ohio River. This one is going up the Mississippi. Are those clearance markings on the bridge? Is it possible for the water level to really fluctuate all that much? That's wild. And so is this view. Amazing. How much commerce actually happens on these rivers? Okay, that's far enough. 
let's come back time to go there's still so much to see I want to drive through Cairo, Illinois, also pronounced Cairo, by the way, and it is supposed to be mostly abandoned. And I want to corroborate that. A little bit of a dystopian, post-apocalyptic welcome here, don't you think? Well, at least the church looks good. And actually, this whole part of town here seems to be a little better maintained. Some of it looks like it may just be run down, but some of it, without a shadow of a doubt, has seen better days. what kind of economic meltdown happened here, but it seems pretty severe. Look at all this. But otherwise it would be a pretty cool town, I mean, seems to be. Let's continue. Missouri awaits. Going back over the Mississippi one more time. And back in Missouri we are. And will be for the next few days. This part of Missouri, flat and agricultural, as expected. But I do see what looks like some topography in the distance, so I'm hopeful. I love driving through this part of the country. Where else could you find a billboard advertising seeds? We've got rolling hills and the brown sign I've been looking forward to. Those brown signs, by international convention actually, are erected to direct visitors to points of interest along the way. And our first point of interest is coming up. We're going to stop here at Van Buren, population 819, the gateway to the Ozark National Scenic Riverways. Let's stop by the visitor's center. Why do I always get myself into these no-outlet situations with the trailer in tow? I'm telling you. So nice and so knowledgeable, the lady in there, she gave me the map and she told me what to do and where to go and uh, where to see elk and about the campground. I'm gonna try and see um, the 200 loop is supposed to be electric. Otherwise, you know, I'll boondock it. I'll rough it for a couple of nights. Let me look for United States Post Office. I'm offline, so I can't do that. What do you In mean you're meantime, offline? You can get directions, make calls, and play music. What do you mean you're offline? We have five bars of LTE. I'm telling you, this Google lady sometimes gets on my nerves. Rolling through downtown Van Buren, Missouri, looking for a post office because CDs and stickers must be mailed. Huh. We're going to Big Spring Campground on this windy and hilly road. It is one of those first-come, first-serve, self-check-in kind of deals. Okay, this is nice. Busy, but nice. Ok, 
Actually, I think this is gonna work because the last uh, reservation left today on the 5th. So it should be available in theory, right? Let's go, Let's, let me go to the payment box. Yeah, the pay station is, is farther than I remember. This is such a beautiful place. I think I'm gonna go back uh, in the car. Okay, so it is $19 per night for, a, for an electric site and that's what we're gonna get. Well, this is very nice here. Only electric though, but I have plenty of water, so shouldn't be an issue. We're gonna go for a little hike. This, by the way, is the Big Spring Campground here at the, at the Ozarks. This here is the, the non-electric campground. And as you can see, it's completely empty today. I think this is the trailhead. There's supposed to be lots of elk around here. There's the current river. Yes, this is the current river, which we will be following as we explore the scenic riverways, also Jack's Fork. In fact, there are 134 miles of rivers in this area. It would be nice to have a boat here, or at the very least, a kayak or a canoe. It is absolutely beautiful. drive to the big spring area. Don't really feel like hiking anymore. This is the largest spring in Missouri and one of the largest in the whole world with a daily average flow of 286 million gallons. From far away, it almost seems to be like a waterfall. This is apparently one of those places where a lot of people come to take uh, to get their picture taken. That. They're getting the, the photo shoot going on back there. But this is really cool. There's a marker there. That's a lot of water coming from under the ground. It really is. It really is a spring. I mean, the water is coming out of nowhere, out of the, the earth, really. Let's see, I, I forgot to bring the, the trail map, but this seems to be a trail here, so let's, uh, let's go a little further, see where it leads. So far, pleasantly surprised by Missouri. Hey, look at that, look, look up there, wow. I think this area has to be one of Missouri's best kept secrets. I mean, at least I certainly didn't know about it until very recently. This is truly amazing. And it is only our first day here in this area. Yep, very impressive. I'm gonna start heading back. It is getting late. This is amazing. I had never seen anything quite like it. I liked it. I liked it. Well, tomorrow we'll continue exploring. morning. Cool morning here, 60 degrees Fahrenheit, 7.25 a.m. Central Time and we're gonna try to do the early bird thing, or, although we're not that early anymore. But um, the, the lady at the visitor center said you could go see some elk. 
Look at that morning fog. And we have deer. Yes, this is the best time of the day to see wildlife, wherever you go. US uh, 60 here in, um, in Van Buren and we're going towards the town of Wainona. This is where the pavement ends and the dirt road begins. Six more miles until we get to our destination, which is Peck Ranch, which is a wildlife conservation area where you can see elk and many other animals, I've been reliably informed. Here we are. We've got some elk! We've got some wild turkey too. Oh yeah, sure, by all means, use the road. Y'all know Thanksgiving is coming, right? Let's explore some of the narrower roads that branch out from the main loop. But I presume most of the wildlife must be hiding somewhere. Here we go, we got some more deer. Bye guys. Our next stop, Rocky Falls Shut-In. It is called Rocky Falls Shut-In, and apparently Shut-In is a, is a type of river, and that's how they call them here in the Ozarks, which is confined to a, to a small space. Oh, look at the butterfly. Hello, butterfly. Woo. Here we are, and oh, wow. Beautiful waterfalls, and it is not very crowded today. Apparently, it is a popular swimming hole, and let me tell you, I am tempted, but I did not come prepared. Besides, the water is probably cold. All right, let's see how cold. Yeah. That water is pretty chilly. I, I was thinking of, of bringing my, my bathing suit later on, but... It is really beautiful here. I, I had no idea. There, that gives you a sense of scale. All right, let's go. I guess there's a trail that goes to, to the falls, but I don't know exactly where it is. It is certainly not marked, so we're gonna continue. Well, I know it's not the most efficient thing to do because I'm kind of close to the other springs and points of interest in the area. But I'm gonna go back to the campground, take a break, have a light lunch because uh, I had a very light breakfast and uh, my brain is still kind of the, in the eastern time zone. So by the time I get there, it's gonna be noon. And oh, there's a, I wonder what that road goes. Should I, should I not? Nah, I'm not gonna. Um, and uh, as I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna soak my red kidney, kidney beans. Yes, tonight I am making Cuban-style red kidney beans, frijoles colorados, from scratch.
Well, it's a pretty hot day now, and this is what we're gonna do. And uh, and the lady at the visitor centers, she highlighted, you know, the highlights. And uh, this is where we were today at the at the Rocky Falls. But we're gonna go all the way to Blue Spring here, and then go all the way west to Ali Spring. That's the plan, anyway. And uh, we'll see what else we find along the way. Let's go to the Blue Spring area, and apparently it gets flooded around here, crossing the current river. This is supposed to be another beautiful spring, but first, let's stop here by Powder Mill Campground. Yes, the campground is right here next to the current river, which I must say, today has a pretty good current. I wonder if that's why they named it that. This is very nice, but I think these places are much more enjoyable with some kind of watercraft. Hmm, what is this? I guess it's not very deep and that would be a river access on the other side. Oh, so many butterflies, look at that. Oh, wow. Blue Spring, two and a half miles on this dirt road. It's a trail, I hope it's not too bad because I, I, I forgot to bring my, my hiking shoes. It's not too bad. Well, it is getting worse and pretty steep. What I'm gonna say is this Blue Spring better be worth it. Well, here, according to the pamphlet, it is the Blue Spring here is uh, Missouri's deepest, Missouri's deepest. If the Statue of Liberty stood at the bottom, her torch would be underwater. It's a, it's a half mile trail, so shouldn't be too bad, even though I didn't break my hiking shoes, so let's do it. Right, here we are at the trailhead. There's the Colorado, there's the bathroom, and there's the trail. Maybe there's some information there at the, at the trailhead. And there is a picnic area over there. Have an emergency phone number, except that there's no cell phone signal here. <laughs> okay. There's a very faded sign with all the information about how the, the spring came to be. There's the river right there, the current river. I wonder if you would be allowed to boondock over there. That would be cool. And as I said earlier, the way to do this is with a small watercraft. That's probably this place called Well Hollow. More research shall go into this. Entering the Blue Spring natural area. Very beautiful, but I definitely should have brought my hiking shoes. Which serves me well for not reading the map before coming. <laughs> I hear water, rushing water, we must be close. There you go, some information about the spring. You can pause if you want. Here we go. Even the tem temperature is cooler here, right next to the water. And we made it to Blue Spring. It definitely has a unique color. say that was worth the perilous drive and the short hike over here for sure 
And uh, I've been taking some pictures and it's uh, amazing what translates well in still photography and what doesn't. Some things are better on video and some, some things are just, you just can't replicate. Uh, your eye sees it, but then the camera, it's not 3D, no, I don't know, it, it, it's, it's, it's a mystery in a sense. Ah, let's head back. I gotta figure out how to go there. I would love to figure out how to boondock over there. There has to be a way. Oh, there's a trail that goes right. Let's, let's do it. Let's go. Let's come down here. Wow, cool view. Let me tell you something. I really like this place. This is called Alley Spring and Mill, so let's explore. Alley Spring. We came through here, across that bridge, we're parked right here. So Alley Spring and Alley Mill, that's where we're going and should be right around there. I wonder what that building is. Oh, a schoolhouse. Let's check it out. And uh, apparently they have preserved it as it would have looked in the past. It was actually moved here from north of Eminence in 1971. Well, that was a nice uh, little trip through time there, going into the, into the school. So I was saying, look at the flagpole, it's like, very rustic. All right, so let's go into the main attraction over there. Please do not wade or fish or swim. Ah, oh, man, good thing I forgot my bathing suit. Oh my God, look at this, how pretty. This spring, by the way, doesn't empty onto the current river, but to its largest tributary, Jack's Fork. And here's the famous Red Mill, Alley Mill. Very modern for its time, it was very large, had steel rollers and it harnessed the energy from the spring by using some kind of turbine, which gave the miller the ability to control the speed. Are these the milling machines, perhaps? That must be the gate that regulated how much water went into the turbine. And the view downstream is just beautiful. A lot of water under the mill. 81 million gallons a day to be exact. Let's do the Spring Branch Trail. I have only one explanation for this. These people want to keep it a secret and they don't want anybody to come here. I mean, this place is totally under the radar, this whole area. I'm so glad I came. Wow. I'm so glad I can share it with you.
check out all these butterflies. I've seen them all over the place. I just realized that it's like a like a loop trail, so the the the, the, the car is right there. Uh, so I think your brain can only process so much beauty in one day. So let's quit while we're ahead. Go back to the RV, make some beans, and uh, and tomorrow we go to Branson, Branson, Missouri. Here we go, carrots, green pepper, chorizo, smoked pork shank. Let's remove the casing on that chorizo and slice it. Chopping an onion. Uh, let's do some garlic too. Instant pot next time, you guys. Slightly longer cable would be nice. I'm not saying, I'm just saying. Funny thing, I have like 10 of these cables back in Miami, you know, of different lengths and gauges, but not here. Here we go. Let's remove this. We're gonna set it on saute on uh, more. Doesn't matter how long because we're gonna change it to pressure uh, before that, but on saute all the way. Chorizo. Let's add the pork shank. Let's add the onions and the peppers and the garlic. And I keep forgetting this instant pot is a lot smaller than the one I have at home. I'm gonna have to remove one of the pork shanks because I'm running out of room here very quickly. I'm gonna add my, my cooking wine, not too much, but just a little bit. A little bit of salt. So not too much because this stuff is salty already. Just a little tad of cumin. This, oops, maybe I overdid it. This stuff doesn't really require a lot of cumin, but it does require a little bit of oregano. And you know, paprika, although though that, that Spanish chorizo already has a lot of paprika, I'm gonna add just a little bit more because it wouldn't be me if you didn't have paprika. And I'm gonna add that saffron. Let's add our pre-soaked beans. What is that marking on the thing that says? I think that's pretty much it. We shouldn't fill it up any more than that. Eh, maybe a little bit more, but just... And now we're, we're gonna uh, fill it up with water to that uh, marking and uh, I'll put this in a bag and put it on the fridge and tomorrow, when we get to Branson, I can do another batch. We'll add the water, cook it for about an hour at high pressure, and that's it. Oh, I forgot a major ingredient. Just a little bit of tomato sauce. Just a tiny, not too much. Mm. Ah, who closes these things? Who's FaceTiming? I don't know that number. I think it looks good. Of course, this would normally have potatoes and carrots, but they didn't fit. I'm gonna add a lot of that ham because that's gonna be my protein for today, you know? All right, see you guys tomorrow. It is Friday, and today we are going to Branson, Missouri, and I wanted to stay at a state park or somewhere more nature, but it's been almost impossible to make reservations this summer on a weekend with short notice, so this is all I could find. Branson Lakeside RV Park. 
and I think I got the last site available. I am looking forward to exploring the Branson area before heading north, but more about that on the next episode. Until then, thank you so much for watching, and see you on the road.